Okay, I've had a request um, from YouTube and I've had a couple questions on uh, how to uh, clean Edison records, um, especially the diamond discs. Um, so this is for those viewers out here that requested this. This is the matter that I find that um, Edison used and uh, recommended with like a soft felt cloth and uh, some just regular old rubbing alcohol. I find that 70% isopropyl alcohol works good. Um, for cleaning the records, I prefer like a cotton pad as opposed to a cotton ball um, because there's a lot le there's a lot more area to hold on to. All I do is just take the cotton pads, one or two of them, just turn the bottle upside down and get the cotton pad nice and wet. Then you want to start as close as possible to the label in the dead wax area and go from the center out. Just wipe with the grooves and follow the grooves. Just hold your record in place. And once you do that, flip it over and do it the opposite way. And it may take one or two, three, maybe sometimes four cleanings for your record to come clean. Um, some records are, you know, if you buy them off eBay especially, a lot of them don't come uh, with the jacket, so they're a lot more dirtier. So you just want to do this, you know, three or four times until your, if your pad looks dirty, which this record is fairly clean, so you can clean it as many times till you see your pad starting to come cleaner and you'll be okay. There is one thing that you want to be aware of when you're washing your, wiping your record is that you don't get any alcohol on the label. If it's a nice pretty label and a nice white label, then it will get um, discolored and can also, the alcohol will make the sticky that the label is attached to the record with start to peel off. So once you find that your uh, record is fairly clean and your cotton's coming pretty clean, you just want to let that dry for a few seconds and when that's dry you want to flip it over and then repeat the process on the second side the same way as the first. Start your dead wax area, go out and turn your cotton pads over and go the other way being careful not to touch the label. Now depending on how old your record is some of the black label Edison's are a lot harder to clean I found that sometimes cleaning them several times and then playing them and then cleaning off the stylus and then giving them a good cleaning again will help enhance the quality and the clarity of the record. Now what I like to do to get rid of all the dust that's left from all the cotton balls after your record dries, I just find just taking a nice soft cloth, kind of like a dust rag, and uh, spraying, it with, spraying it with a little dust spray and just lightly wipe your record on both sides to get rid of the lint. Then I like to take a felt record brush. What I like to do is just with when one complete motion hold your record in the middle. Go out around like that to get into your grooves. And you want to go same way on the other side to get all your grit off. And if your record looks fairly clean and you're satisfied with it, you probably won't need to clean it again. But you can tell this is a fairly nice nice and clean record. And then I like to take my dust cloth again, wipe it off on both sides. Now this is a good point in time if, if you're like me and you want to try and save some labels or you have some labels that are ripping off. I find a good idea is just to take some good old Elmer's glue. It works really good. As for your labels coming unattached from the record, just peel that back. Just put a little bit, tiny drops of glue in there put a little bit on your finger and then smooth it out. Don't put any on the label but smooth it out on the record face itself and then just lightly press the record down and then once you've done that just place the record down and put like a book or something on there to hold it down you know maybe possibly overnight. Um, a lot of the Edison records um, some of the ones that I've had have had bad edge chips. Um, a good way for you to cover up those edge chips is to use good old nail polish I found which works rather well. All you want to do with that is you don't want to get too much on the record too much on the record side or it will seep into the grooves. You just want to make sure your brush is fairly 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 lightly coated. And then this record does have an edge chip, so I'll go ahead and take care of that to show you how I do that. And you just want to real lightly just brush over the chip and along the edge of the record so you can seal in the chip. It's important not to use too much or it will seep underneath the record and cause more blistering. So you want a really, 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 really light coat. 
And then all you do is just cover up the edge chip, being careful not to get anything near the grooves. Just want to put a, put a nice little coat on there, not too much. Once that's done, you just let the record dry for a few hours and make sure it's not tacky or anything. And then once your record is clean, your label is glued down and you like the way your record is clean, you can either go ahead and play it and re-clean it and repeat the steps, or you can put it in a nice sleeve if you don't have an original Edison Diamond Disc sleeve. And there you go, how to clean and repair Edison records.